How's it going everybody, my name is Dalton. Welcome back to another episode of Garage Nine. In today's video, we're gonna have a couple different days of uh, content put together in one video for you. We're getting a bunch of stuff in for the dirt bike and it's coming in basically in two days, but it is a whole bunch of stuff. First things first, you guys can actually just take a look at the three items we got in today, which is the new seat. This seat is really eaten up and even though this one's not perfect, it is still gonna be good enough because we are actually going to be putting a seat cover on it so it looks like a brand new seat. We just needed a good enough cushion and these are actually pretty hard to find anymore. So that'll be replacing the one that we have on here right now. And I'm actually gonna use some leather cleaner and everything and try to get this thing nice and smooth again because it does seem pretty dry. I mean, the leather on here is cracking and very, very, very dry, but it at least has the cushion so we can put our seat cover on top of it. On top of that, we've got a breather, which you might as well put on now. So that way we don't get any water in our gas tank and it'll still breathe no problem. And we've got our handlebar cushion which will protect us from smacking our dome or something else on the handlebars so let's go ahead and install these All right, well, it's not really much today, but uh, yeah, this thing does kind of look a little mismatched right now. Once we get our, well, let me just show you guys. All right, so we got our seat, we got our gas breather, and we got our handlebar pad. So we still need our front plastic, our foot peg, our rear tire, the air filter, the brake line, and the sticker kit. So we got a lot of stuff coming in for this thing, and we're gonna get it in tip top shape by the time we actually do get to use it. Can't really drive it much because of that rear tire being as bad as it is. But I'm still pretty hopeful. I know we're gonna get everything that we need for this to be running very, very soon. So don't you guys worry. Wait until we get tomorrow's shipment of stuff and then I will continue with the video. Another day, another part. This is just one more part for today. I believe we still have three parts we're waiting on, but I have no patience, so you guys are getting in this part of the video. And more parts. We have got our sticker kit, guys. Check this thing out. We're so excited. So let's go ahead and start. I'm not even sure where to start, but I think we're gonna start with a faceplate. We did actually get a faceplate and the foot peg in. Those are just two simple bolts. So I wasn't gonna show you guys that, but let's go ahead and show the montage. All right, so you guys know that saying like, she's hot from far away? Well, we're gonna go ahead and call this one hot from far away because some of these panels look really good and some of them, like the front, look really, really, really bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you this thing up close. It's not me, it's a combination of trying to wrap. First of all, this is only $50, which is very cheap for how much customization you get for this livery. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it looks pretty good for what I paid for it. However, that being said, the sticker quality is not the best because of the fact that you don't have the perforated holes inside the stickers, so you can easily have air escape from it. And also, there should be more cuts on this for all the contour of the bike. I mean, there are plenty of cuts, but there should be more. And like some of this stuff just doesn't line up very well with like the holes and everything. I'm actually kind of impressed with how good the quality is. If anything, I would probably remove the one off the front fender. I just think it's, uh, I don't know, it looks okay. I'm not gonna say it looks incredible, it looks all right. Overall, the bike looks a lot better than when I got it, that's for sure. We've now got the sticker kit. We are now waiting for the rear tire, the air filter, the brake line, and the seat cover and this thing is done. That all is gonna be in this video as well, so stay tuned, keep watching, because here it is. Another day, another part. We got our tire in for the back tire. We got this thing all ripped apart, brought it off, and had it mounted. Yes, it has a drum brake. Never seen a dirt bike with a drum brake before. So we're gonna go ahead and install this thing and actually ride it and see how she rides. Kind of excited, I haven't really driven it or ridden it much.
All right, we got the new tire installed. We have our new brake line for the rear brake. It's actually just like a hard line that runs from the pedal to the rear drum assembly. And uh, I have lubed up the chain with chain lube. The recommended one that's kind of expensive, but it does work, I already can tell. Seems like it's rotating a lot better. So I'm gonna take it for a quick little drive and uh, come back. You guys aren't gonna see any footage of that though. I'm gonna try and get you like a full video of what this thing's capable of. So that'll be for a different video. So I totally forgot to film it, but we did actually get a replacement brake lever because that was broken. And we stripped and painted a few things on the bike. Like we powder, we hit the exhaust with a 2000 degree primer in gray. Uh, looks kind of cool, it's better than rust. Uh, and we did wrap the seat in our new universal seat graphic wrap from Factory Effects. Looks really, really cool. Bike's pretty much done. We've got everything we need. We got everything we want. We got brand new sprockets, front and rear, and we got a brand new chain on there. This thing's ready to rip, and we're gonna enjoy it in a couple weeks when we go up north. So I'd like to thank you all so, so much for watching, guys. Peace out, and keep turning those gears.